Best as our man, women, and best to the seed of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this hour and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise. Let us pray. Pour forth we, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls, souls of, the of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. We are our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, through whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, the light and God, to lead and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Our entrance, hymn number 282, 282, Rejoice, Rejoice, Rejoice. Rejoice, 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 come let us praise the Lord. Rejoice, 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 come let us bless His name. Rejoice, 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 Come, let us praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, come let us praise the Lord. Rejoice, 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 come let us bless his name. Rejoice, 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 come let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Rejoice, 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 come let us praise the Lord. Rejoice, 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 come, come let, let us bless his, his name. name. Rejoice, 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 come, come let, let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good morning to everybody. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us 
to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Thursday week two. Lord, rouse up your might and come to our help. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains are covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with his boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord rouse up, up your might, might and, come and come to our help. The Lord has done marvelous things. Let them be made known to the whole world. I thank you, Lord. You were angry with me, but your anger has passed, and you give me comfort. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song, he is my savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Sing a psalm to the Lord. For he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has done marvelous, marvelous things. Let, Let them, them be made known, known to, to the, the whole, whole world. world. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands are freed from the Lord. You call in distress and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart, to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. 
the Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ring Bring out your, your joy to God, God our strength. strength. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, o Lord our God, the striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven with great authority given to him. The earth was lit up with his glory. At the top of his voice, he shouted, Babylon has fallen, Babylon the great has fallen, and has become the haunt of devils and a lodging for every foul spirit and dirty, loathsome bird. Then a powerful angel picked up a boulder like a great millstone and as he hurled it into the sea, he said, that is how the great city of Babylon is going to be hurled down, never to be seen again. Never again in you, Babylon, will be heard the song, the song of harpists and minstrels, the, the music of flute and trumpet. Never again will craftsmen of every skill be found, or the song of the mill be heard. Never again will shine the light of the lamp. Never again will be heard the voices of bridegroom and bride. Your traders were the princes of the earth. All the nations were under your spell. After this, I seemed to hear the great sound of a huge crowd in heaven singing, Alleluia, victory and glory and power to our God. He judges fairly, he punishes justly, and he has condemned the famous, the famous prostitute who corrupted the earth with her fornication. He has avenged his servants that she killed. They sang again, Alleluia. The smoke of her will go up forever and ever. The angel said, write this. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Response to the psalm. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Happy, Happy are, are those who are invited to the, to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, you must realize that she will soon be laid desolate. Then those in Judea must escape to the mountains. Those inside the city must leave it. And those in the country districts must not take refuge in it. For this is a time of vengeance. When all the scripture says must be fulfilled. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast. When those days come. For great misery will descend on the land and wrath on this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive to every pagan country. And Jerusalem will be trampled down by pagans until the age of the pagans is completely over. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars on earth nations in agony, bewildered by the clam of the ocean and its waves. Men die in a fear as they await what menaces the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man come in a cloud with power and the great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here, what we have Jesus doing is to give us a description of the great sufferings that will make life very unbearable. No? And many of these are man-made. No? Many of these things are man-made. Bad decisions and relations lead to plagues, like the one we had in COVID, the COVID pandemic lead to famine, to war, the climate crisis. However, the gospel ends with a message of hope. This is where we are told that when these things are happening, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Your liberation is near at hand. That is, God is always coming to our rescue. That is one thing that we, depend, we can depend on that God is always going to come to a rescue. Because God does not want his people to be destroyed. So he comes to a rescue. No? As Pope Francis makes a beautiful statement, given the fact of what he realizes is happening in the world. He says, human beings, while capable of worst, that is all the destruction that is taking place because of us. He says... Human beings are also capable of rising above themselves, choosing again what is good and making a new start, despite their mental and social conditioning. So we don't have to live according to our mental and social conditioning. The work of true faith is that we keep believing, hoping, and praying. Because the day we stop doing these, we we'll never recognize God coming to our rescue. Embracing these virtues, believing, hoping, and praying, embracing these indicates that we believe God more than we believe the world. Sometimes the operators, they believe the world more. But if we continue to do these, it's an indication that we believe God more than believe the world. And then our prayer, our prayer will always seek to articulate our faith and live it. And our faith will give us great hope that we can change the situation and make it better. We can always change and make situations better. I don't know if you ever think about the great miracle in the story of Daniel in the lion's den. No? The great miracle is that Daniel kept on praying. No? And that's why he was not devoured by the lions. He kept on praying. And that's what God wants us to do. Keep on praying despite everything. It's not about getting scared and running and hide because you can't hide. No? It's about keep on praying. About believing. Hoping and trusting 
That's what we do when bad things are happening in our world. And as I said, very important, our faith is not something that we just proclaim, but we live it. We live it. That's why we believe. We, what we believe is what is our life. We, we live it. Our, our hope, it motivates us to make that which we believe a reality. And, and that's what we should always do. So we cannot stop praying. We have to keep on praying. We have to take a, 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 a page out of, out of Daniel's history. No? Out of his story. No? We got to do that. And, and let nothing dismay have frightened us into losing our hope and our faith. Because sometimes that happens to, pe to people, you know. Things happen in their life and all of a sudden they stop believing and they stop hoping and they give up. Well, we can't do that. It doesn't matter what is taking place. It doesn't matter who seems to be the strongest in the world. If you know the history of the church, you realize that the, the church, members of the church has gone to the worst things and they come out on top because they never stop believing and trusting and praying. They never stop hoping because they realize that is our victory. Our victory is not armies. Our victory is not having political power. Our victory is not having economic power. It's simply believing and trusting and praying and, and, and uh, hoping. That, that's our victory, no? It, in, in other, one guy said, listen, when it is pitch black, all you need is a single light. Don't, don't say this pitch black and I have no hope. I do not know where to go. You just need a single light. No? And one single light and then the darkness is no longer prevails. And each one of us must seek to be that single light. So darkness will not prevail around us. So it doesn't matter how bad things get. It doesn't matter how bad things get. There is always hope. But that hope doesn't only depend on God alone. When I say depend on God alone, I mean only God alone can do anything that is great. But God wants to cooperate with us. So it depends on us to be that light of hope, to be that person, that man, that woman who keeps on believing, who keeps on trusting, who keeps on hoping, and we keep on loving. And once that happens, that's why the Lord said, listen, there's no need to run and fear. When these things are taking place, stand erect, hold your heads high because your liberation is near at hand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. The response is, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Blessed be our God and Father. He hears the prayers of his children. Lord, Lord hear us. us. We thank you, Father, for sending us your Son. Let us keep him before our eyes throughout this day. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. Make wisdom our guide. Help us walk in newness of life. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. Lord, give us your strength in our weakness. When we meet problems, give us courage to face them. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. Direct our thoughts, our words, our actions today, so that we may know and do your will. Lord, hear us. And let us lift to Francis and Jason, our bishops, and pray that they will lead us in search of peace and harmony for all people, especially the most vulnerable among us, and those who bear the brunt of wars, dictators, and natural disasters. We pray. Lord, hear us. Lord, look with compassion on the sick, in their long suffering and pain. You are their only refuge. Ease their pain, loneliness, and sense of isolation with your healing mercies. We pray. Lord, hear us. Grant the prayers in our hearts. May we not lose faith in you, even when you do not grant us what we ask. We pray. Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, come to us in the Holy Eucharist and be our refuge, our fortress, a rock of ages, our salvation in the midst of all sorts of sufferings, desolation, and evil adrift all around us. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be acceptable by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, our God, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Uh, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. He lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise. Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for our own salvation through Christ Jesus, our Lord and God. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy. Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and uh, once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and uh, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We lift up to the Lord the, the names, the souls whose names are written on this page, al along with Algic and Victor Tudor. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God our Father. Let us remember the words of Jesus. There's no need to be afraid when we see all of these calamities happening. Just keep on believing and praying and trusting and hoping and all will be well. And as we call out to God, O oh Father, we lift up our birthday blessings, adding to Saint and Crystal Hills. As we dare say, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and uh, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, the glory, and glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. My sisters, my brothers, behold, Jesus, 
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Hands of God, here is holy word, gather round at the table of the Lord, eat his body, drink his blood, and we'll sing a song of love, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, we are one. And our life has just begun. In the spirit, we are young. We can live forever. Sons of God, hear his holy word. Gather round the table of the Lord. Eat his body, drink his blood. And we'll sing a song of love. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shout together to the Lord who has promised our reward. Happiness a hundredfold and we live forever. Sons of God, hear his holy word. Gather round the table of the Lord. Eat his body, drink his blood, and we'll sing a song of love. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us, dear friends, may the art of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. And you are present, dear Lord, because you do not want to leave us orphans, because you want to come to us and dwell in our hearts and minds and souls. We love you, Lord, above all else, and we desire to receive you into our heart, soul, mind. Lord, at this moment, we know we cannot receive you sacramentally, so come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, 
and dwell in us in the deepest part of our being. Embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to you. And Lord, with the grace that you have given to us, help us to embrace and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you and never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks Thanks to God. To God. And uh, have a wonderful day, my friends. Same, Same to you, Father. Number 285. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. When God's people come, come together. together what can we do but sing? Sing cause he loves us. Sing cause we love him. Sing for the joy it brings. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. What a happy thing to do, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. What a joy it is for us to praise the Lord. One voice together, praising with gladness, Christ is the gift we give. All eyes united with Christ Jesus, happy the life we live. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. What a happy thing to do, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. What a joy it is for us to praise the Lord. What a joy it is for us to praise the Lord.